Thanks to Orphelia, we can keep track of time with style while building our AGPU mining rig. Make sure to check out their watches and other jewelry at Amazon. There will be a link in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Buried One. So in today's video we're going to be showing you another AGPU mining rig build but in today's video we're also going to show you a few answers for people and subscribers that have been asking me those quite a lot of times. So hopefully this video today will answer some questions for you guys on temperatures and how you can use M2 PCIe slots on your motherboard and how your mining motherboard works and doing the BIOS settings on it. So this is going to be quite a lot of answers for a lot of people on this build. We're also going to be using Ethos on this mining rig, but I'm going to make a separate video about that on how to install that onto your system. So what I'm going to show you today is the build of this mining rig. And first of all, we're going to show you which parts we used. Okay, so going to the mining rig builds page on buriedone.com is always a good idea because we have example builds of subscribers that sent us the parts they used and some really fancy pictures. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you number 4, the 8x EVGA GTX 1060 6GB single fan rig. And if you go to the page, you will find some pictures of the mining rig that people built or that I built. Actually, why do we make these pages? Well, a lot of people want to use the same parts of a mining rig, so they are certain that it will work. So that was the reason why we created these pages on buried1.com. So let's go over it really quickly on what we used. And I will put a link in the description below too to find the parts of this mining rig. First of all, we used an LGA1151 CPU. It was an Intel Pentium G4400 and this one is pretty fast for a mining rig, but it was really cheap at the time, so that's why we picked it. The motherboard that we used was an Asus Prime Z270A. It supports up to 7 GPUs, but we used an M2 PCIe extender, so it cranked up to 8 GPUs. For the RAM, we used a G-Skill IAG's 4GB single memory stick. It's DDR4 and it was 1600MHz I suppose and you can always buy some alternatives. It really doesn't matter too much about the RAM, only if you're going for AMD Vegas you need up to 8GB of RAM. For the storage we used a Kingston 120GB SSD but we installed EthOS on it so a 16GB USB would have been plenty enough. So for the graphics cards we used 8 single fan EVGA GTX 1060s with 6GB of GDDR5 memory. For the power supplies we used two Be Quiet 800W golds and they were plenty enough for this build. For the PCIe mining risers we used version 006Cs because we still had them laying around but you can actually use any you desire. For the mining frame we used an HGPU VETA frame and for the other things that we bought was a dual power supply adapter to connect the two power supplies together and also a M2 PCIe extender as I said before but I forgot to put it on the page. So if you also have a mining rig to show off, make sure to send the pictures and the parts that you use to rigs at buried1.com and I'm really happy to put it on the page. So now that we have all the parts for this mining rig, let's put it together.
Okay, so the mining rig is capable of mining on SOS. That is the software that we installed. So we're gonna give you a monthly profit situation of the current rates. So this may change very soon when the cryptos go back up in price. These numbers that I'm gonna show you are going to be irrelevant. So first of all, we have Ethereum mining at 190 mega ashes per second at about 900 watts from the wall. We also can do Monero mining with 4200 hashes per second at about 700 watts from the wall. We can also do Zcash mining with 2600 solutions per second at about 800 watts from the wall. So if you take the Ethereum hash rate, you would make about $254 a month. If you take the 4,200 hashes per second from Monero, you would make only $108 a month. And if you take Zcash mining with 2,600 solutions per second, you would make $235 a month. So yeah, currently the profits are not really shining, but if we run these numbers when the prices of the coins went up, you're gonna see a huge improvement. So next time we're going to be building a 6 GPU GTX 1070 mining rig. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.